Hey, what's up there guys, Snoopston here, and this video is going to be another state of the game. There's a few major things happening in PS2 that I'm happy to report on. The first being the ESF update, which is planned for release this month. They have released, a, SOE that is, have released a forum post talking about it by Kevmo, one of the developers. I will link that in the description below, but there's going to be three new ESF weapons coming. There's a video from Vanu Labs, if you'd like to check that out, I'll also have that in the link in the description. Uh, basically, the new weapons look like cannons to sort of close the gap and teach new pilots how to aim. Like me, which is good, because I really do need to learn how to aim. The rotary is far too punishing for a new pilot. We're also going to be getting uh, coyote missiles, I think they're called, which is like a form of... They're like a lock-on, but instead of actually traditionally locking on, it's like a guided missile. It'll, within a certain range, it'll track a target via heat, I guess. They could be kind of interesting. Uh, I'm not sure how VET pilots will be, you know, be able to utilise them, but I'm sure we'll see in the future. Also bringing in a new certification that could come, that will go in either utility or the defence slot. Basically, it's going to be like a radar that will allow you to receive HUD indicators for people that are like engaging you. So for new pilots, it would be easier to see where you're getting shot from and to be able to track an enemy target. Now, for me personally, I know that that would be great. I think that would be great for me and I don't mind sacrificing certain things. It's just, it's whether or not vehicle stealth affects it. If vehicle stealth doesn't cancel it out, then people who have certain vehicle stealth are gonna be pretty pissed off about that. So yeah, the air game's changing. They're changing it from being so elitist. It's I can't really say elite. It is, but it's really hard to get into the air game. It's almost impossible for a new pilot to actually be successful unless they have some sort of natural ability like myself. I love flying planes in computer games, but I have no natural ability whatsoever. So. There's some real cool changes coming up in the uh, ESF update. Also some big changes coming to the way membership works in Planetside 2. Now originally SOE planned to make it so that you could pick an item of value up to 2000 SC. But since there was a bit of a backlash about that on Reddit, they didn't. They changed their mind about that. Now props to Smed here because he actually came out on Reddit and you know directly engaged with the community and addressed their fears. So they're changing, they're changing it across the board. They're making it so that you have access to all of SOE games subscriptions for fourteen ninety nine a month. That's dollars US. So that would be like eight ninety nine uh, UK. Not sure about euros. It's a good idea. I don't really play any S other SOE games. They're also keeping the five hundred SC you get, and you can still hoard it. So that's pretty good. You can still keep hold of it. People were really upset by that, so it's cool. They've done a good job on that. Uh, again, they're shafting European players. They they don't have they have an idea on how to include us, but we need to discuss with our partners. We have a pretty good idea on this though. Give us a bit of time to suss it out. Fair enough to Smed though. He did a really good job with engaging with the community and such, and it's good to see a developer do that. I haven't really ever experienced that. I've always said the Planet Side 2 dev team are excellent in that respect and it's good to see that ongoing. Higby's also made a post on the official forums where they're talking about weekly game updates again, which is a good idea. Rather than relying on the hot fixes as they used to in the past, we're going to have weekly updates where bugs that are stupid shouldn't hang around for too long. Like, you know, no tank, no tank turrets and such and infiltrators being invisible and still shooting and of course the tremendously funny long-range animation bug that was there for a little while it's refreshing to see the developers committing again to weekly updates it means we should see more content in the game they've handled the way they're changing membership really well and there's i won't go into it but them having you have sc but not spending is is like a liability for them so there, there is a reason why they wanted to change membership i'm just really really happy that they decided to listen to the community on that as for the esf changes should take away one of the walls stopping new players from getting in the i know that the engagement radar is a 
fairly inexpensive sirloin, so that's going to be good to have. That's definitely going to be good for me because I suck at tracking air targets. But as it stands right now, if you have to be like have experience flying in other games, fly ESFs. And the reverse maneuver is crazy. Now, I know that they're adding the, the afterburner pods. I don't know if they're still nerfing the reverse maneuver. I think they may be. When you, I think they're making it so that you have to pretty much come to a dead stop now. And the afterburner pods will make it easier to do. I know that they're reducing the regen of afterburner and the pods will increase the regen and the capacity of the afterburner. Good changes all around. Pretty happy about that. Thank you guys for watching State of the Game. I've been Snoopston. If you've enjoyed this video, please feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Snoopston.